Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So you're here with Amanda and today's video is going to be another weekly check-in. So we're going to be checking in for week three. Real quick, I do want to say thank you so much for over 100 subscribers. I think it's like literally crazy and I'm so excited for that and I'm still like in awe. Like I really just cannot believe that. So thank you to everybody who's been entering the giveaway. And if you have not seen that video yet, it will be linked down below. Um, it's my cash envelope stuffing video and I am giving away a ton of things for you all. So if you want to enter or see what it's all about make sure to go ahead and check that out so anyway before I make this video super super long we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into the weekly check-in so to begin I want to go ahead and start with the budgeted amount so I did go ahead and fill this in and I need to explain a couple of things so if you saw my last weekly check-in where I did week one and two after adding up the food amounts, I was supposed to have $18 left, but I did not have anything. So, there are some expenses I did not track, so I put a sticky note over it um, that had the actual amount I ended up with. So, the reason it says $30 right here is because on my last envelope stuffing, I did give myself $30 into food, but I didn't add anything else to any other categories. But I did also add these cash envelopes slash sinking funds again i explain it in my cash envelope stuffing i did add these which for my weekly check-ins these all count under personal so what i'm going to go ahead and do is add up this total and whatever i had left over from last week and write that into my budgeted amount so i have five ten twelve dollars plus the other two that rolled over so that should give me $14 in personal which is what I'm gonna go ahead and write here and then sinking funds I'm just gonna go ahead and put a dash through it because at the time I'm not sure what sinking fund I pull from and just I don't know if you know what I can put there then just go ahead and let me know for next month I did make myself a transaction log which will make this part a lot easier um, because I may not have to include it in my weekly check-ins, but I think I already set up the spread and wrote it in there. So we'll figure that out when we get there. But now let's go ahead and go to the monthly spread and we're going to fill in all of our expenses. So here is our monthly spread and I have my key over here in the top corner, which I set up in my very first weekly check-in. So blue is personal, pink is groceries, beige is food, and gray is sinking funds. So if you guys don't know what I use to track my expenses, I do track them in my micro happy notes. So on this page with a tab, I have my key, that way I can know for myself I guess and I also wrote that groceries includes my new toiletries envelope and that personal includes that one YouTube clothing and beauty so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys what I spent out of that um, just so it's more clear but I do also use little expense dots which I'm giving away in my giveaway to track everything Lastly, I do also have these expense stickers that I also made myself, which if you guys did not see my last video, I did actually make an Etsy shop, so the link is down below, and I do have a coupon code for you all where you can buy my expense tabs, my dots, and my no spend stickers. Um, so if you want those, go ahead and check them out. So the week we're going to be doing today is week three, which is 17 from or to the 23rd. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and zoom you guys in a little bit. So the first day we have is the 17th, and I did not spend anything on that day, surprisingly, because um, I did feel like I spent a lot of money this week. The first expense we do have actually is on Tuesday the 19th, which was a single dollar for Raspa's, and this came out of my personal because I did not have any food money at the time, which I know you guys are like, well, if you didn't have food money, why did you use something else on food and that's because I don't want to completely restrict myself um, to what I have in my envelopes and that's it but I do stick to them like I consider this a personal expense because it was still something that I wanted um, and food to me is more like restaurants kind of thing so since this wasn't a restaurant I figured I would just use my personal money on that so on the 20th we did buy tacos um, I actually don't remember where it was from but we spent $7, because I don't think I've been to Taco Cabana soon, or recently, so I have no idea. Oh, I think it was um, Mama Margie's, actually. So that's all for the 17th through the 20th, and everything else is the 21st through the 22nd. So on the 21st, we did make a Chick-fil-A run, 
which was for $4. Um, so I guess that's kind of exciting. I want to say on this day, we tried to order breakfast, and we didn't know that you had to get there before breakfast time was up, if that makes sense. Like, breakfast ends at 10.30 at Chick-fil-A, and I didn't know you had to get there before 10.30, because, you know, when you do curbside, you would assume that your food is ready by the time you get there. But that didn't happen, and our order got canceled, so we had to just go through the drive through um, On the 22nd, I did spend $2.00 on shipping envelopes because I did get my very first Etsy order which is super exciting um, I was really really happy for that so also on the 22nd I spent two dollars to buy I want to say like drinks from McDonald's my boyfriend had just gotten out of work so I went to get us some drinks um, speaking of my boyfriend he's asleep in the room and I feel so nervous like filming but whatever it's fine um, and then on the 23rd, I again got Chick-fil-A. This time I did actually make it in time. So this expense was $12 um, because I bought us breakfast since I had really been craving chicken minis since I couldn't get them on this day. Um, so I literally like raced to the store because I was not about to miss out on it. Then, we did have a sinking fund expense because if you guys watch my stuffings, you know that I had been meaning to get my AC recharged as well as get an oil change. So I did have to spend 20 of my car maintenance money to get my AC done, which actually isn't that bad. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I'm from Texas and our cost of living here is like a lot cheaper than anywhere else. Like our minimum wage is $7.35. Um, so that may be like a really small amount of money to everybody else and it, it it's a small amount of money to me too but you know um, everything else I guess kind of evens out so those are all the expenses I'm so glad I didn't have any days where I went over three expenses because I did have some last week I had one right here on the 11th where I spent money three times out of the entire day but with that being said we did only have two no spend days which isn't that good I would I would assume that I wouldn't be spending as much since you know I'm just at home but I do get hungry a lot and once someone mentions going out to eat I like can't stop thinking about it so that's one of the reasons <laughs> why I do always spend money on food it's just like a thing um and anyway, I also made myself a mini cash envelope for my boyfriend that way I can just have money for him if he ever wants to like get something from a store and it's like small enough for me to carry with me and I also made him one for me if that makes any sense um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you really quick because I think I want to post these to my Etsy shop but I don't know if people will be interested um, it's the same mini cash envelopes that you've probably seen before where the money has to fold twice to fit and so I just think it's super cute that it's clear and mine just says babe, his says love bug. So if I should put those on my Etsy shop, just go ahead and let me know because that would be really fun for me. I do quite enjoy making envelopes. So going back to my little expenses, we're going to go back to our weekly check-in spread and go ahead and do the spent amounts. That way we can be keeping track of everything we are spending money on. So for food, we spent $7 at Mama Margie's, plus $4 at Chick-fil-A, plus 2 at McDonald's, plus, okay, I didn't do something right, okay, 7 plus 4 plus 2 plus 12. So we spent $25 on food this past week, which... To me, it's kind of good because I do still have some money left over. And I know this is right this time around because I do have $5 left in my envelope. Again, my numbers never have change included because I do save them in a jug. That way, my boyfriend and I can go cash it in later and then decide what we want to do with the money. So back in my cash envelopes, I do still have a $5 bill in personal. So we know that that amount is correct for the first time. Um, I made it a point to really keep track of everything because it was just embarrassing the last time having money that I lost, but whatever. So, groceries did not have any money, so I clearly did not spend anything, so we're just going to cross that out. 
For personal, however, I spent $1 from the actual personal titled envelope, but then I did spend the $2 from the YouTube one because I did explain that it's YouTube slash Etsy, um, just kind of anything that has to do with my quote-unquote business um, since YouTube isn't a job for me because my, my videos aren't monetized, at least not yet, but... Um, I don't know how to like explain it. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm trying to say. But we did spend $3, which means I should have $11 left in all of these envelopes, which I have a feeling is not correct because I think, yeah, the $1 that I did have in personal when I did my cash stuffing, I went ahead and moved it to my savings envelope, which is with my sinking funds, but that's where that $1 was. Um, and then the 10 should be in YouTube, which I don't think that's right either. Oh, 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 hey, I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. Um, I totally forgot, look at me. See, this is, I'm confusing myself, so if you have any way to like avoid that confusion, just let me know. So this amount that's remaining is an add up from my personal envelope, my YouTube envelope, my clothing, and my beauty. So that is a little bit difficult to go ahead and count through, but I know that that's right um, because I've just been putting everything back. And in my actual personal titled envelope, I only had $2, which is why I spent the one on Raspa's and then the other one I put in my savings envelope. So for sinking funds, I ended up spending the $20 out of my car maintenance. So I'm just gonna write a $20 thing here. And I'm just gonna leave it blank again because for the same reason as this, I didn't write the budgeting amount because I wrote sinking funds and not the exact one I spent. Um, so this will be fixed later because again I do have a transaction log now which I think I'm going to be leaving the sinking funds in my weekly check-in but in my transaction log it will show you exactly what category I spent, how much, how much I have left and what I spent it on. Um, again I'm so sorry this is like confusing but I'm still trying to figure this out for myself which is why this is gonna be a lot of like back and forth until I figure out a system that really does work for me so that is all that we actually have in this video I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the monthly spread one more time and we'll go ahead and count how many no spends I've had so far so in the month of May, we've had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, no spend days, which isn't bad actually, but I could make it better. So I really do think this week I'm not going to be spending a lot of money because I don't have anything to spend. So there's that. But anyway, again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not seen my giveaway video, please, please, please go check that out. It'll be linked down below as well as the end of this video. And go enter because it would mean so much to me and I want to go ahead and give back to you all. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.